Hello everyone, this is Jozef Nagy here and um, in this video I would like to draw your attention to a possibility for an advanced training in CFD with open foam. Um, and if you uh, watch my videos on my channel then you might know that there were also previously similar advanced trainings and this is now the fourth edition. So these courses are organized by Tian Building Engineering with my support and the support of Reologic. And the lecturers are going to be me and Alex Lee. And the two courses are going to focus on first, advanced green building engineering and second, fire safety engineering. And the software which you will use is of course open foam. and the course is going to be next year in March. And with the date, I, if you're interested, the date is coming on a later slide. So the objective of this course is to provide participants with an overview of the usage of CFD technology, especially with open foam, and for green building engineering, fire safety engineering and mechanical engineering. And we want to bring you guys to a level where you can start your own CFD projects. Yes, so the uh, the target audience, as I mentioned, fire safety engineers, green building engineers, uh, mechanical engineers, also chemical engineers, if you're interested. And the prerequisites for these advanced courses is the basic understanding of CFD modeling and at least a little bit of a knowledge of a case setup of open foam. We will uh, recapitulate the basic features, but not explain them in detail. So, and now for the topics of the advanced course, we will um, show you how you can model a tree canopy, how you can model the dispersion of a toxic gas, and also how you can model local flow phen phenomena, for example, porous media or heat sources and sinks in certain regions, and how you can uh, model rotating geometries. So for the tree canopy, you can see here in this slide, um, schematically, uh, three different simulations. On the first, you have no trees. In the second one, in the green area with the boundary, you define a local area where you model the trees macroscopically and you don't uh, actually mesh all the trees. So this is very uh, handy if you want to model a park or a small forest in your steady state simulations and the effects on the wind and the buildings uh, after, uh, behind these trees. Then for the toxic gas dispersion simulations, you can model these um, <clears throat> Um, uh, as a species injection and uh, you can see here a typical um, um, distribution of for example NO2 at the uh, outlet of a chimney. And local flow phenomena we will talk about porous media and for example on the left hand side this ACU how a louver can uh, deflect the flow of an ACU and on the right hand side you can see a heat source and sink of uh, passive displacement ventilation where in the top um, um, cold uh, water is cooling down the air and then this cold air is falling down to the floor and then cooling the entire room. And we show you how you can um, define these regions, for example, in this case as a heat sink. Then uh, AMI simulations with a so-called bladeless fan. This is going to be fun. And then the fire safety course, the second two-day course, is going to focus on car park simulations, gas dispersion in car parks, fire modeling and fast fire simulations in a room and a car park, and also introduce a GUI especially for how you can improve the turnover time and implement your, C your geometry as an open foam case faster. So for example, a car park simulation, so a complex geometry with uh, jet fans and exhaust and supply fans, then gas dispersion in uh, a similar car park with supply and exhaust and there you how you can define, for example, a CO source in this geometry and then calculate the CO uh, dispersion in a car park. 
then fire modeling in a room as you see in this slide with different heat release rates um, heat release rate curves so it's not just a constant heat release rate and how you can define that in a room that you can see here or in a similar car park just on the geometry before and then the the GUI that I was talking about how you can bring a complex geometry like for example a stadium or a shopping mall to easily to um, to open form with snappy hex mesh without having to copy paste uh, 200 um, entries STL, names of STL files and boundary conditions easily and we are going to show you that Okay, so for the details of the course, the course is going to be in Singapore. The first course is going to be on the 10th and the 11th of March 2020. And the second course is going to be on the 12th and the 13th of March of 2020. Both courses will uh, take two days. And this, the courses will start every day at 9 a.m. and run until 5 p.m. in the Keppel Bay Tower in Singapore. And the fee per course is going to be 1,350 Singapore dollar for early bird registration until the 9th of February. And afterwards, the price is going to be 1,500 Singapore dollar. Uh, so for a single course. And for re registration, the limited seats are available. It, it's first come, first serve. So if you want, if you're interested and if you want to register, please send an email to info at of-campus.org and then a registration form will be sent to you via email and with additional detailed information. Okay, so um, with, I hope that some of you are interested and that you will register and I hope to see you then in March in Singapore. I would like to thank you for watching and listening and I hope to see you next time.